They will not. It's Kanto and Kryon is the two main villains for Rogue against that Monkey, both having so much success. This man, however, didn't do any damage because he's on the table. Boosted up an elevated good trip from Kamikaze Puja on through, but doesn't stop there. He's gonna go further. Kamikaze walking into the bomb site, but there's a good cross being held. He's been downed. Is he retrievable? That's the question. Pino and Muzi and Spoit and Deepak are the two on either side as Kamikaze will continue to bleed out unless they can secure it. Deepak looks the wrong way. A third kill for Pino. Spoit now to clutch out. Can we see Heroics? No. Musi's waiting by 90. That's one round. Nib absolutely need this. They get round number one as well. And Pino with these grenades trying to find for the second member. That right there is not going to find much, but Sport finds Wizard instead. Two nades go out. Sport a big kill. Oh. Deepak cannot follow up onto Musi, so answered back. These teams trading blows with one another. Nobody gaining a significant advantage. A common spot next to the trophy. Statue. Whichever you'd like to call it. It's no longer there. So Nip's push will come from over towards Astro. Looks like the bomb site is not mostly clear, but Kanto holding a rat angle of his own. He gets pre-fired by Psycho. No crossfire potential. Spoit second kill. Could he go for a third? No, it's not there. Pino guns him down. Suddenly it's a 1v1. Cryant with 11 bullets versus Pino on the LMG. 41 still there. Who'll swing first? He's waiting out the time. Cryant playing this quite adeptly, and Pino has no information. Rogue ties the game. Surviving that first onslaught, which saw a grenade dropped on his lap. Another grenade tossed in, but the intended target miles away. A crouch now as Deepak sees the head, but for a second. Cannot nail the shot, but Leon Gids and Cryant are good for it. Before Leon Gids returning to the bomb site is cut down to size by Musi. That allows Deepak to rotate over towards Vault. Cryant slaughtered at the top of the stairs. Suddenly, Deepak will have to clutch out in a 1v3. Nip don't usually let you live long in this situation. Deepak seems to be surviving. But they have a good idea as to where he is. They'll take the gunfight to him. One kill, but Musi immediately trades it. That Nook split push works out quite effectively, and Nip regain the lead. That they do. Can not the Thunderbird, so no healing is available. They pick up the stock on 20 HP. Sport is in a gunfight, but there's support there from Cry and the duo. They get the kill. It's like a 5v3 lead for, for Rogue. Damage being done. A second kill from Cry and Leon Gids means that. Well, Cryon's not going to get more than four as Leon Gids is shut down. 3v2 favoring Rogue right now no, in seconds. Be. You have five seconds or so to act upon that. Nip. Right now, just standing pat. Very slowly juggling their way in, trying to peek back and forth. Deepak takes down Kamikaze. Psycho's last one in there. Spoit decides to swing. It's a bit anticlimactic. Took a while for Nip to find their footing, but... Rogue equalizes. Both teams very vocal. He's actually got Miss Drone in his corner, so again, ratting around seems to be the gameplay right now. But, well, the one person who's not standing still, he gets shut down. That was day pick from Wizard. But they gain valuable information from that. They know that Wizard is over towards Astro. They don't know exactly where Muzi is. But if you recall, Muzi really yes. likes to go the path oh. less traveled. Oh, he's on the hunt with Kanto Raketi. Kanto's know. looking the wrong way. No! The Nook, just in good shape. A grenade gets tossed out. Leon Gids will wow. need to move. Baited perfectly into Kamikaze. Nip's mid-round has been flawless. That leaves the Phenom to try and toy Ooh. with it. Spoit missing out on the head as the plant is going down. Can he reposition in time? Yes, he can. Spoit? He's just got Muzi left. A name that hasn't been on our lips on the tip of our tongue for very long. But now here he is Ooh. to prove why he's one of the best players in the world. A huge clutch from Spoit to give Rogue the round. Final Adrenal Surge goes out. It gives Musi a little bit more HP. Still far from full. Kona stations surrounding the bomb site, or maybe even in the bomb site, will give Rogue a little bit more staying power themselves. Leon Gids finds a pick on Napino. Suddenly it's Kamikaze and Muzi. That soft destruction is totally gone from the board for Nip. So Muzi will need to take matters into his own hands. Kamikaze with Diffuser. No hope whatsoever. Leon Gids a triple before Spoit closes the first half. Rogue up 4 2. That's the best Rogue could have hoped Two for. Things that they know where he is. Tifo came here, could spot him out, but no one's on it. Instead, Pino is oh. ready for both of them. How do you not flush that out? Kanto Ricchetti and Leon Gids just walk right into their bullets. A very quick round. Rogue obviously wanted to set a pace that would be hard to match. Crying the next one involved oh. on that shot. He lands it on a Pino. Good recoil control. That leaves two players from Nip down below. It means that Rogue and Cryon, if they do head upstairs, would be in a glorified 2v2, but the Malusi still roams. They can't seem to find him. Wizard there is the backup. Down he goes. Deepak inside of study, waiting for the rest of the team to find their footing, but they have slipped 
and they have plummeted off the face of the cliff. Musi cleans things up. Nip wins their very first defense, and they get one round away from tying it. Adrenal Surge gives Rogue a little bit more health than they had before. 30 seconds to go, and Kanto Raketti will work forward. Oh. Nice shot on the wizard. There's his kill. A second could be found, but a smoke will cut off the line of sight. Now Nip will scramble to get into the bomb site with very limited visuals. Oh Crying God. down below, spotted by Musi. That's a beautiful shot. It's Kanto Raketti in a 1v3 as Leon Gids bleeds out on the floor, and Pino slams the door on a rogue's hopes. I think as you also mentioned, a tougher second half so far. One and five to his name, hit a nice shot earlier, finds another one onto Pino now. We need a lot more than this. Doors being barricaded, NIP comfortable in these corners and with the flank as well. Wizards finds crying. It's desperate times, bro. Only three kills between Kanto and Deepak left, but in bikes, Kanto Ricketti under fire. Wait, okay. walks right in with Deepak and takes down Psycho. Rogue storming the gates here. They have control of the bomb site. And with Deepak holding on to the diffuser, Nip will need to retake. But these are desperate times for ninjas in pajamas. Deepak gets the plant off and can immediately pivot with Kanto standing by his side. It's the defenders now on the side of the attack, but Wizard casting a spell onto Rogue. Kanto Ricketti succumbs to it, and Musi takes down Deepak. Look at his face. Look at his face in the bottom right. Pino doesn't even break a sweat. A little bit of a prayer. Ninjas in pajamas take the lead. But Pino holding down his angle could be lethal. He's a pixel of a member of Rogue, forced to walk backwards with Leon Gates with an aggressive injury here. Pino has to fight one and two members at once, but it's Leon Gates who comes out on top. Oh, there goes bullets being flown into the bomb site. Rogue getting soft enough time and time again. Look at how close Deepak is to death. He's a shadow of himself. Claymore, Claymore goes out, but Rogue has turned the no tides out of nowhere. Kamikaze now to be the one who could be on a suicide mission against these three players of Rogue. Leon Gids with Diffuser in hand, getting it down. Kamikaze outside of the bomb site. Rogue had boxed him out, but then over towards Vault. Spoyed his gun down. Deepak on low HP. Leon Gids sitting on top of the Diffuser. But the time will run against Kamikaze. What can he accomplish? He's only mere feet away. On Diffuser. No smokes. He'll jiggle around the corner, but Leon Gids is swift enough. What a comeback from Rogue. Things look dire until they didn't. And suddenly, we've got a tie game yet again. Cool is so for NIP, and Leon gets now solo on this master bedroom hold. Has to make a miracle happen as he pushes on through. This is look at the stack up from Rogue, not working out so well. Another kill from Leon crying, missing an opportunity as Spoit guns down Psycho. Diffuser in the hands of Deepak goes down well. Kamikaze again boxed out. He found himself in this exact same set of circumstances when he was, when he was defending on Aviator. Will there be a different outcome? Kamikaze with one on the Leon oh. Gates. Wizard on the comeback. Suddenly Nip have made this eminently more winnable, especially with Spoit being on low HP. He and Deepak are watching the same angle. Kamikaze swings, but Spoit is better, and Deepak pushes Rogue to match point. We might just have overtime on our hands. Playoffs? Wolves could also clinch a spot, but we'll see. Rogue working through Memorial Nick with one minute to go. Utility going out, crying, taking damage. He's already got a kill to his name. Down goes Psycho to Deepak. Deepak putting in a lot of work in terms of his gadgetry, in terms of his utility and objective play. Kanto Ricketti a kill. Leon Kids getting Diffuser down. Wizard from above doing damage, but no! Kanto slaughters him for the playoffs. Pino will need to stop Rogue, or else the European team will move forward and play Pino? on the stage. There's two from Pino, dislodged from a grenade. Still inside a pantry, but he's trapped. He needs to get out of there. Because right now, he's just stuck in the cage. Spoit punches the tickets. Rogue go to the playoffs. They'll be on stage on Friday.